Hey y'all, it's Britt here and I will be getting my first snake tomorrow and I'm super excited about it. Um, never in a million years would I have thought that I would own a snake, but here I am. And I'll go more into details about that later in, in another video. But this video is just showing you guys how I'm gonna set up the enclosure for my snake. So I'm getting a juvenile snake. He's I think about four months um, and he's gonna be coming tomorrow. So today I'm setting up this little uh, storage bin enclosure that I have for now. I just collected these. I don't know if I'm gonna use them all or not, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started. I have to drill holes. Um, you know into the enclosure so that he'll be able to breathe and things like that and, and then i'll set up the rest of the stuff later so let's get into it all right so the first plan of action is to drill holes into my plastic tub enclosure so i'm going to get started with that now just gotta set everything up here that's going good now I was told, um, well, based on the research I did, um, it's best to drill the holes from the inside out just so that, um, you know, the shavings from the hole won't scratch up the snake as they're climbing up the walls and stuff like that. So let's get into it. All right, that's the first one. Looks like this is gonna take a lot of elbow grease, man. All right. All right, y'all, so I finished uh, drilling the holes into the plastic tub here. It's kind of crooked and all not straight and even, but it's all good. At least I got the holes in there so that there can be some air going into the tank. So next I'm gonna add my, um, actually, uh, I think I'm gonna add the heating pad first. Um, so this is the heating pad here. Um, but unfortunately I didn't pay attention to the size and I got a heating pad for a 30 to 40 gallon tank here. Um, and this thing, this tub is like a, a 15 quart, uh, tub. So it's not that big compared to the heating pad, but I'm going to work with what I got for now. Um, and then when, you know, I get the snake. Um, you know, I'll adjust and plan accordingly and stuff. So I, what I'm thinking of doing and don't, uh, don't follow along with what I do with this here because, you know, I'm just winging it for now. Um, this is my first time doing it. So I'm just taking you along with me. So don't quote me on, on these things I'm doing here. So I'm planning on maybe just putting the heating pad, uh, on the side of the tank since it's already so big. So just putting it here for now, I guess, um, <laughs> until I get a bigger uh, enclosure or something, or maybe I'll just get a smaller heating pad. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But um, yeah, since you know my baby is coming tomorrow, I need to do something right for right now. So um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna attach it right here, and then just keep it here. Hopefully, it doesn't really mess up anything. So we'll see. All right, so I put on the heating pad here. Just gonna leave that for now. Um, I know it's a hazard, but uh, like I said, just working with what I got for now. And now I'm gonna add the Aspen bedding here to the bottom of the tank. Start with a little bit first to spread it out. And I'm just 
putting enough so that, you know, if the snake wants to bury down, he'll have enough space to do that. All right. That should be good enough. All right, so I put the aspen bedding at the bottom here. This is what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna add, um, so what the tank needs is the heating pad. So it needs a warm side and a cool side. So obviously this is the warm side with the heating pad. So I'm gonna put, they also need a water uh, bowl. So I'm gonna put this water bowl on this side. I might get something smaller, but this is what I'm using for now. Um, so have the water bowl here and then I actually need to go to the store to get um, two, hi two hides. So there's supposed to be a hide on the warm side and a hide on the cool side. So I'm going to go to the store later on to get those hides and then I'll come back and show you what I got. All right, y'all. So here is the enclosure. I finished everything. So I have the heating pad on the side. Um, and this is a lid that locks. This is suggested because snakes are escape artists and they will get out if they see any little crack or crevice. All right. So for the um for the hides for the snake um i just bought like everything from dollar tree pretty much um well just this and that so i have the water bowl over here i got like a smaller water bowl i just have to put water in it and then i have this little like tupperware container thing that i used um i just cut like a little um piece out so that he can get in there and then I have like some plants on top so he can hide and stuff. And then I have this little um, uh, paper towel roll and I just uh, used the glue gun and attached the foliage, the, you know, the greenery to this. So he'll have some, some hide and stuff like that. So this is the cool side, this is the warm side. I also have a temp gun. Um, so let's check the temperature on this side. Well, it's because I'm <clears throat> really close to the heating pad, but he's probably not even gonna be over there. Um, so the hot side should be between, I think 80 and 85. And on the um, cool side, it should be like around 75 degrees or so. So, you know, I'm still working on getting that temperature right and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. This is what I have so far. So um, my snake is supposed to arrive um, in a few hours. So I will be back with the snake. So correction, the warm side should be between 86 degrees and 89 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And the cool side should be between, or well, it should be in the 70s, but like average of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, just wanted to let y'all know that. So let's go get our new snake. All right, y'all. Here is my corn snake. Now I'm heading home so we can open up the box. All right, y'all. So my snake is finally here. Just picked him up from FedEx. Now let's open the box. Oh my God. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I've been waiting for him for like a week. So yeah, I'm ready. All right. adorable sorry y'all I'm just so amazed by him let me see if y'all can see him in here I'm gonna take him out here he is ah, he's four months Hi, 
is him. Wow, it feels so weird. You see him? Wow, he's very, very active. Wow, look at him. Oh, hi. Wow, this is so cool. He's so nice. Wow, look at him. Like, corn snakes are one of the most like active snakes there is, so. Yeah, he's more active than like the ball pythons. Wow, look at him. Wow. He keeps like trying to reach for the screen. Look at him. <laughs> wow. So, I'm shaking, I'm so nervous. But you know, as long as his tongue is flicking, that means that he's good, everything is good. So, I just have to check him, make sure everything is okay with him. Check his body to make sure there's no mites anywhere or anything. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. But he's like ready to slip out of my hands like already. Wow. Hi, Papa. This is so cool, y'all. I'm bugging. <laughs> He's so pretty too. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. All right. I think I'm going to put him back now because he's very active. So let me just see if he'll go back in here. Oh, crap. He wants to come out so bad. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna put him in his enclosure because um, you see me sweating. So he's supposed to stay in his enclosure for about a week without me bothering him just so he can get used to his new habitat and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm about to put him in his enclosure and then I'll show you how he looks and everything after. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you see, look. Look how he's wrapped around my finger. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I've never had a snake before, so it's so interesting. He's like really trying to get away. All right, y'all. Peace. All right, y'all. So I put him in his cage here. And he is exploring. He's chilling on the warm side right now. Um... I was supposed the instructions from my breeder said to leave him in his little cup on the room temperature side until uh you know until he hits room temperature or until whatever until things settle and then i can take him out but he just wanted to come out right away he is very very active so i'm gonna just let him be and just check on him periodically so yeah y'all i'm a snake owner